What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. I'm actually out here at Lake Natoma, although it looks like I'm in the middle of the woods. We're uh, my beautiful girlfriend. But yeah, we're actually going to the bridge over here. I can't really kayak right now because of my shoulder. So we've got all of our stuff in the wagon. Kind of looks like we're trying to smuggle ET back home. But yeah, it's actually a heater that I went out to Home Depot and got to put on a top of a propane tank to keep me warm after I come up from the dive. But uh, yeah, it's about 0.3 miles of a little walk on this trail and we should end up at the bridge and there's been a couple people already that have contacted me and said, hey, I lost something at this bridge. Please keep an eye out for it the next time you're over there. And I said, absolutely. So I'm out here. It's uh, yeah, the end of December, so it's pretty cold out here. It's like 50 degrees. That's why my girlfriend's wearing the snow coat and the scarf. But uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go give it a shot, see how long I can stay in the water for. Uh, I don't want to stay in there too long just because it's not safe, obviously, but I can stay in there at least till my toes start to tingle. So we're gonna go give it a shot and uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, stay tuned. What's up, everybody? So we finally made it. This is actually the bridge we're gonna be searching under. We're crossing over to try to find an easier access point right now. But uh, as you can see, these signs up here, they say no diving and whatnot, but people dive off these places all the time. They jump off of them every single day in the summer. And I've actually gotten a bunch of requests so far to come over here and search for people's stuff. Uh, I think somebody lost a water bottle and there was another pair of Ray-Bans and uh, I think a couple other items too. So we're just gonna try to find everything we can down there, whether it's trash or treasure. We'll try to make sure to get back all the valuables we can back to their owners. Um, and then all the trash we come across, we'll pick that up and get rid of it too. But uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good day. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. First piece of trash. Oh, yeah. I don't even know if you saw it on the camera. I made it. All right. Got all my stuff here. About ready to go. Here we go. much stuff. Hold on. Wait. 
Oh my god. All right. Shoe. Sunglasses. Already got that out of the way. I think I, I'm not sure. This could be. Uh, I want to say it's a gun part, but I have no idea. But hold on. A freaking scooter! I got a scooter! Look at that, guys. My first Razor scooter. Oh, oh that's a good day. Let's keep going. Woo! Uh, yeah, I couldn't exactly keep going with those things in my hand. Oh my god. I was literally all within like the space that they are in now. Probably ask the park ranger if he could give us a ride. I'm not even using my light, it's perfectly fine down there. However, the light's really cool too. Oh my god. you wanted the bike for Christmas. <sighs> Holy crap. Holy crap. Woo! Bike and a scooter going for the car next.
Oh, that's totally a definitely a gun. Careful. See, I don't need a new truck, babe. I got myself a new bike. <laughs> I got two new modes of transportation right here. Yeah, because that totally looks viable to ride. A little elbow grease. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Merman Mike. Just got done with my dive, and it was awesome. I had uh, some of the best luck I've ever had yet. Uh, didn't find a whole bunch of things, but the things I did find was just amazing. So we'll start over here. We got Razor Scooter. It's my first Razor Scooter. Might end ride that back to the car. <laughs> but uh, found an entire bike. I can't imagine that wasn't stolen. Got a shoe. We found this part to the bike. It's called a Comfort Sport. We got little metal pieces looks like to a trailer hitch uh, got a pair of goggles got a stupid pair look at how like bent and spiraled that piece is it's like someone purposely twisted these like three times around and then they just threw them in there but uh yeah other than that we got these three bottles I thought were pretty cool we got four pairs of sunglasses Another speaker, I actually thought I was going to grab like a tall can or whatever and it ended up being a speaker, which was awesome. Found not only one, but we got two lights. And this one, as you can see, the light is still on. So I might be able to take that home and actually charge it up, maybe get it to work again. And uh, I looked it up and it's like $120 bike light. So that'd be super awesome. And uh, I've got a buddy that rides bikes, so that'd be really cool to give to him maybe. But uh, yeah, I'll do things. We got super sketchy knife. Do not want to know why that was down there. Found a little lure. That was cool. It's got a weight on it. I have no idea what that is, but I found it and got it out of there. We got an orange cone. Safety first. And then the find of the day. I am almost positive this is a barrel to like a 22 or some sort of gun. I only found the one part, which means it was most likely 
like taken apart and different parts were thrown in different parts of the lake but uh i'm gonna try to call the park ranger get them to come look at it uh i don't want to be taking anything of historic value or anything that they can use in like a museum or anything like that all right everybody what i'm doing right now is i'm gonna call the local uh authorities around here find out what they would like me to do with the barrel like i said i'm never trying to steal anything that doesn't belong to me or get away with anything always trying to just do the best thing and uh yeah, I think the best thing in this case would be to let the authorities know what I found and see where to go from there. All right, thank you. All right, well, they're gonna contact the ranger and then contact me, I guess, but in the meantime, we're gonna pack up all of our stuff. Uh, we'll leave the gun barrel out just in case they wanna meet us here and find out where we found it and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited. What's up, guys? All right, so update on the gun part. The park ranger came, they are gonna take it, that way they can run it through. There's a serial number on there. They're gonna make sure it wasn't involved in a crime, that it wasn't stolen, and they're gonna see if they can find the rightful owner. But if they don't, they're actually gonna get in contact with me and they said I could have it back, which is pretty cool. But I mean, if they can end up having closure for somebody, that'd be awesome too. But uh, we got them right here. She doesn't wanna be on film and that's completely fine, but yeah, we're gonna give that back to them. Hopefully it can get some closure for somebody or uh, Maybe I'll get it back and just have a super sweet gun part to have on my wall. Yeah, they actually said we can leave the bike right up against this bridge and they're gonna send maintenance or uh, somebody with a truck to come get it. That way we don't have to try to carry it all the way back over the trail. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. And the park rangers were absolutely amazing out here. Uh, super, super nice, super responsive. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy everything turned out the way it did. All right, everybody. That super sweet bike. It's all jagged and whatnot. I'm gonna say no. Gross. <sighs> Till next time, everybody. Take care.